so these nematodes are a big problem now, right? In, in like wa uh, almond walnuts. Yeah. So what you know? I don't know how you will do this, but what I, when I've done this kind of thing in the class, I usually recruit students to come up and do the part, you know, and I okay. kind of oversee yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That way they're more involved. In yeah, no, these are a good group. They like to do stuff. And so you see, now I've got my, my pellet, and I'm going to try to pour that off. As much as teaching is work, I'm reassured that the students actually are getting it. Yeah. Well, they, they like it. They stay. They don't go home early. They Here's the sugar solution. So I'll fill it about halfway with that. Now, very important is that I take something and agitate the pellet. So the idea is to get the nematodes back in suspension. And this is a step that, that uh, if you miss this step, Nothing works because the pellet, the nematodes stay in the bottom. Okay. okay, so now we did, that was with the timer I had it on there. And I do it without the timer, and I just bring it up to 1,000 RPM and keep it there for about 60 seconds. So I kind of bring it up and then come up to speed. You, know, you can hear it come up to speed and then 50 to 60 seconds. And then we got it. And then we've got to, as quickly as possible, get the nematodes out of the sugar. Because they, they, there's a plasmolysis going on. Not only do they die, but they become uh, disfigured. One RPM. So it's there now. We're every. I'm such a gentleman, Howard. When I said he didn't catch any fish, he didn't tell you. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Howard expect that. You know that. <laughs> Simple. Get some nice there's snowed up there today, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where were you? Well, we went up to Lake Davis, north of Portola, north of Truckee, about 50 uh -huh. miles. Uh -huh. Yeah. Beautiful spot. Okay, so now we're done with that. And we want to get them out of the sugar as soon as possible. students doing this just sort of caution them about normal safety procedures, you know, there's centrifuges and so on. If you leave the brakes on too long with this thing, when it does come to a stop and it starts going backwards, right? Really? Yeah. Wow. So so you have to kind of pay attention to that. That's why I keep sort of peaking. Yeah, yeah. You see now it's going oh, back. Yeah. Wow. Now so that's some sort of electronic brake. Yeah. It's like a backup brake. Yeah. Okay, so now hopefully we've got our nematodes in suspension here. And we, we want to leave the, oh, and there's one step that I missed out there, I'll tell you about. Now, so it, this is thick sugar, so it's not going through, and I should have set myself up with a beaker of water, because I want to rinse it. Is this the 325 again? No, this actually this is the 500 now. So now I, then when I pour this on, I pour it up above the, uh, above where my little half moon of uh, sugar solution is, because I don't want to flush the nematodes through there. I just want to come kind of through gently and kind of dilute the sugar solution that is in there. And we'll backwash this into the beaker. I remember doing this last year and then they'd look at it and they'd go, oh, oh, look, oh, you don't remember it. Okay, so 
So now we have nematodes we should be able to see. Now, there's one thing, step I missed there that I, I want to show you, and that is that before I poured this out, there's usually a sort of bathtub ring of, of uh, debris there, and it's useful just to oh, scoop okay. it out. Otherwise, you pour that into your beaker. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's take a dish. We'll do a microscope. Let's go back to the lab. 